Well, aren't you chipper? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke, part number 28, we're in Silver Dawn City, boy. Oh, look at this Team Rocket, what are you doing out here, bro? Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I think we can go back in this fucking place and get an Eevee. Holy shit. We can replace Squirrel. We'll call him Squirrel 2. Or Chipmunk. Because <laughs> that's similar. Um, Let's do this. Let's do this right now. I'm sorry, Webster. Um, You may or may not be of use. I'm not sure. I mean, really, he is of use because we need more of a fighting resistance besides just Tranny, who doesn't have that good of physical defense anyways. I don't know. Team's going all right, I suppose. I, I, I won't worry about it too much. We do miss you, Clam Slam. I haven't forgotten. Never forget. I know everything. Wow. Pompous. There's nothing I don't know. Like I wrote on the blackboard, I know about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy Advance. Or your PC. <laughs> your PC computer, bro. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokemon. Hooray! What's this? An Eevee? <gasps> How unexpected! <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Absolutely the same name. Squirrel! You come back to me! You're a boy this time, but that's okay. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. Now we've got, uh, level 25. Dude! Welcome back, buddy! <laughs> Not really the same, but, um... No, nobody's gonna know. It's, it's our little secret. We still have an Eevee in the dead box. <laughs> but this is a, a, new, a new one. A better one. I don't know if he's better. We'll see about that. And I don't want to buy uh, any evolution stones at the department store quite yet. Dude. What am I to do? Someone stole our self scope. The thief came running this way. I'm sure of it. But I lost sight of him. Where'd he go? Into the game corner. But first, I think there's a, a thing down here. I want to get it. Doesn't somebody have leftovers here? There's a basement under the game corner. Bro, I know. I, I totally fucking played before. Ah, coin case, yeah. I knew there was a reason I had to come in here. I think I get leftovers too, though. Man, the table lost it all at the slots. Wow, that's so terrible. It's almost as terrible as sitting there and eating, and eating, and eating. What do you get? When you gobble down sweets. Let's check out Celadon. Celadon Gym. Kind of test out uh, what sort of level the trainers are at around there. I also need to go to the department store to buy the fucking soda pop for uh, that gate guard. Or all the gate guards. This gym's full of women. It's great. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what Eevee's got, I guess. Level 25, he can do it. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm taking it a bit further than I'm sure you meant it in a game meant for children. Oh, a Magneton. That's just wonderful. What do you got? Ooh, he has quick attack. Forgot tackle. That sucks. Uh, let's get Elvis. Elvis, you come in here. You do the thing. He's such a good boy, he evolved so big. And he missed his sonic boom, thank god. Because that's another attack that does like, your level in damage, so 23 HP. We could take a few of them, but I don't want to. <laughs> and luckily he missed the supersonic, cause I'm underground. And then boosh, bitch, fucking slammed. I, I feel kind of bad about it, but uh, Magneton doesn't have feelings. Look into his dead, dead eyes. <laughs> For Alligator, we'll definitely switch out. And, like, I want to use Squirrel, but Quick Attack, I don't know. I kind of miss Tackle, bro. <laughs> Maybe we should just evolve him, because we've got Hand Job. Um, let's see what Quick Attack does. That was a crit. That's not really great. But what is For Alligator's Water Gun do? About the same as my Quick Attack is going to. But we did get that early crit, so... 
Oh my god. I'm not gonna bring it down to the wire, because we did that with Clam Slam, and it, it was a mistake. It was a mistake! And I will not lose you again, Squirrel! <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> You're here to stay! <laughs> Aren't you? Yes, you are. It's a rhetorical question. Ah. Oh. So I probably should evolve him into uh, Flareon, right? I need a fire type Pokemon. Well, we lost our water type now. I don't know. God damn it. You're too rough. Mm, never too rough. Ask your girlfriend. And if she says you're too rough, she's lying. <laughs> Give it to a rougher. Until she says it's not rough enough. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. See, they're all it's all full of innuendo. This is fucking crazy. It's like a Beauty Bridget. My goodness, Beauty Bridget. Show me what you've got in your Pokeballs. It's a Whismur. Weak, weak. I think I named that shit in the last episode for, or one of the episodes, for uh, a round Pokemon, a cute round Pokemon. That's Whismur. There he is. Look at that. He's cute. Now he's dead. That's okay. She's not gonna be mad at me. She started it. That's how it goes. Wait, no, it's not. Women will always blame you, even if they start it. But it's fine. You just give me money, I go away. <laughs> We're good. I don't know. I kind of like grass as as a type. I would want to be a grass gym leader if I wasn't a normal type gym leader. Just because it's kind of a uh, tricksy. And you get the leech seed going, and you get the toxic, and the sleep powder, and all those nasty status moves. And uh, there's really not a whole lot that can hurt a grass type. Like, thunder is a really good type. It really only has one weakness, and grass is one of the things that resists thunder. Um, granite fire is pretty prevalent, but uh, so is ground. So, I don't know, grass is up there among the best types. There are a lot of good grass types that'll get you through difficult fights, like uh, if somebody has a fire type and you send out a Ludicolo, he's, got, uh, he's a grass water type, which is really fucking cool. Because, uh, yeah, then you're resisting that, that fire type. And then you got, like, Tropius, Grass Fly. You want to resist some bug types. Or not resist, but neutral hit. If you're making, like, a mono-type team, which I do relatively uh, often, it's probably one of my favorite things. I should really bring it back on the channel, come to think of it. I don't know why I kind of retired. I guess this Nuzlocke took over on Pokemon Days. But uh, there's no reason I couldn't double upload, so... Maybe you guys will enjoy some of that relatively soon. In December! A December to remember! Double Pokemon Day uploads! Oh! I'm gonna do it. You fucking mark my words. <laughs> and Zatu's defense is pretty shit, so I'm just gonna eat through that thing and drink through this thing. Mmm. It's the same coffee. It's like a bucket. It's just a fucking bucket of coffee. It's good for my soul. My makeup! Yeah, you like it. You like it, whore? Alright. <laughs> I don't mean it, it's just part of the- it's just the game we play. She likes it. Trust me. Look, look! See my Pokémon? I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Yeah, I guess they kind of are. They evolved pretty low. C Dot evolved really, really low. We could actually go get a fucking um, leaf stone and evolve them from the department store. So we might do that. But first, I want to stomp out this gym. I think this whole episode is just going to be stomping this gym. That's all right. I don't like no motherfucker named Jim. <laughs> it's a stupid name. Like Ted or Theodore. I'm sorry, there ain't any Ted's or Theodore's. Fuck, man. I miss Clam Slam. I probably wouldn't switch him in here on a grass type, but he had Aurora Beam, which was more reliable than fucking Blizzard. So, I don't know. I don't know. And he had Shell Armor. <laughs> you remember Shell Armor? God damn it! Ah, oh, this fucking Leech Seed. Just destroy this thing, please. Thank you so much. Blizzard's accuracy is not that bad. I think it's like maybe 70? 85? Around there? But, uh, yeah. It's not enough to be reliable, which is important in this sort of game. 
and she's got a slugma, which is okay because I've got handjob. Do the thing, handjob. He's a superhero. He's so fucking cool. Just look at him. Ooh. <clears throat> I don't think uh, Espeon or Umbreon is a thing in this generation, unfortunately. Or else I might like to evolve another psychic type besides Mr. Mime. And I could do some crazy shit. Like put Use Acid on the team. Go back and get fucking Batman from the daycare. Put him on the team. We've got a lot of options. Alright, I'm not gonna feel too bad about Clam Slam. Because he put in his work. He stuck with us from the beginning. And, you know, e even the great gotta fall eventually. That's just how shit goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Picnicatina sent out Meow! Oh my. Well, I don't think Meow hits very hard. And that's okay because he's not gonna hit me anyways. I get kind of nervous because I only have two levels of an advantage instead of the fucking nine that I was dealing with earlier. That bite did absolutely nothing. That was sad. I... I can't believe I was worried at all. Hmm. Well, think about that. And he got a wiggle of turf. That's alright. Go give that thing a hand job. <laughs> Everybody likes a hand job. I mean, it's not the best. It's definitely not the top of the book. <laughs> But it's just kind of like, okay, if that's what I get, then, you know, I'm not going to say no. I'll probably even say thank you. Hey, thanks. That was really nice. <laughs> oh, and he's defense curling up. I hate it. And now I've been uh, infatuated by cute charm, which really, really sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It really, really sucks. I'm going to have to switch out of here. I don't want to deal with it. Mm-mm. Not today. Let's just get Tranny in there. That seems like a nice safe switch. Uh, psychic types and dark types are relatively strong in this generation. Dark types specifically, but psychic types still do alright. Until the generation where Steel type comes along, and then they're kind of fucked. <laughs> but that's fine. Spread that experience a little too thin to really uh, get anybody near leveling. That's alright. That's alright. I opened her eyes. That's what's important. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like to cut it? Well, no shit. Hooray! Welcome to Celadon Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. I... I was overestimating them, as a matter of fact. I tried to have a conversation with a few, and they just looked at me like I was retarded. So... What if you don't know about what's going on in Palestine? Just make... Make believe that you do. Oh, that's a pretty strong ditto there. He's gonna turn into an Eevee now. I don't like it. Since it only has quick attack, I'll send out Elvis because that rock type resistance, baby. He's the fucking king of rock and roll. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't even think about that when I named him, but that's just another layer of depth, you see? Go ahead and rock slide that shit. Get the fuck out of here! Just nail. Oh my god. Very nice, very nice. Gentlemen, ladies. It's got Charmeleon. I'll, I'll leave it in here. Cool trainers are actually, like, probably the best uh, trainer battles that you will get. They have the nice, well-rounded teams. And uh, that's kind of displayed even with the randomization that's going on here. It's got uh, a nice variety of types. And that fucking Wigglytuff. It's alright. Tranny can do the thing. If it's pink and fluffy, Tranny will deal with it. <laughs> or something. No, wait. It's just turning into a boy. Maybe a really femme boy. Androgyny! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That did more than I thought. Luckily, disable miss. Fuck you! Oh my god. Super potion, really? Okay. Waste it if you want. Don't make no difference to me, really. I'm gonna get you anyways. Go, go get you. Go get you. You ready? Yeah, you weren't ready. You were never ready. Bloop, bloop. Bye, Wigglytuff. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Snorlax. Damn. That's a big motherfucker that probably has bite and or crunch and or body slam 
and there was some badass shit. I should have set up a reflect, maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. Get that. Fuck me, man. That did a lot of damage. Not only is it a huge attack power move, it's also same type attack bonus. I could try and set up some substitutes or something and hope that he misses, but it's not going to do that much good. And he's yawned. Fuck. Well, I don't trust Squirrel out here. Fuck! That's alright. Acorn can do it. We do have the Reflect up. Uh, even if Acorn's defenses are a little bit low, he should be able to take a headbutt. Yep, no problem. And then we'll fake him out. Boosh! No damage there. But also, fucking he barely took anything. See what Cut does? Ah, god damn it. It's alright. He defends girls. I'll knock him out on the next turn. What a dick, dude! What a fucking massive dick. Ah, oh, cut him up. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, oh, my goodness. Just madness. He still got more? Togepi? I guess fucking do the thing, Acorn. I'm not impressed by this team anymore now that the Togepi's been revealed. Boosh! Mega kick that shit out the window. <laughs> Togepi! Bling! You know, like Team Rocket and shit? Never mind. If you didn't watch the anime, I don't blame you. It wasn't that good. Except the fights. The fights were fucking epic. But you had to wait for like 15 minutes. That ain't cool. Let's see. Who's in relatively good shape? I guess Acorn. Acorn can take the lead. Oh, hey! We don't like bug a fire type Pokemon in here. Well, I don't have either of those. So consider yourself lucky. Because otherwise I would absolutely ravage this whole gym! Unleash the swarm! Slash and burn! Oh, this is like the first fucking grass type Pokemon we've seen in this gym, I think. Impressive, Star Fox! Fitting the theme, are you? Mega Kick! Dude, I fucking love when Mega Kick hits. Ah! Oh, that's so good. Good boy, Acorn. He's a good boy, isn't he? A Persian? Um... I'm not really scared of Persian, unless it has Slash or something with a high critical hit ratio. We'll try the Mega Kick again. Ooh! Two times in a row. That's real nice. And it crits. <laughs> body bag. Who body bag? That's right. That's right. No problem. I'm trying to learn Faint Attack. Oh god, yes. This is a reliable dark type attack that basically can't miss. 60 power is not bad. Um, I'll probably replace nature power just because it's it's swift. What do you what do you want from me? <laughs> it's really not that impressive. I can't do it. Faint attack. Nice, reliable, same type attack bonus. Hmm. Oh you? No you! We're gonna go a little bit over time, I think, on this episode, but that ain't no thing, really. Get a super potion for the tranny, and a super potion for the squirrel, I think. And we got some paralyzed heals, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Revive. Should not have that revive. I should sell it. No paralyzed heal. That's alright. We're gonna fucking try and rock this thing anyways. We're gonna see how it go. Hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Um, <clears throat> welcome! My name's Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I'm a student of the Art of Flower Arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. I think you're a liar. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Well, aren't you chipper? <laughs> There's a, a trainer next door that I decided to skip. Because if we beat her... Fuck you, why not? Fuck you! God damn it. I guess, um... We could risk the blizzard. But I'm just gonna double team up. Oh, we should have done it because he used safeguard. Oh well. You can actually, uh, double team past the counter and mirror coat. 
So that's basically what I'm banking on to keep fucking Mr. Freeze alive. I never see these goddamn Shadow Tag Pokemon coming. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, he's going for Mirror Coat. So I'm gonna crunch his shit. Yum! Hopefully he goes for Mirror Coat, not fucking counter. Oh boy. Oh, uh, moment of truth. Mirror Coat. Fuck, thank God. Good. Oh, Hyper Potion. That's good. She used that shit nice and early so we don't have to worry about uh, her last Pokemon getting completely restored. Oh, but we're fucking paralyzed! No! Destiny Bonds, that's bad. That's really bad. I don't think that is dodgeable. So hopefully I don't kill him with this blizzard on this turn. Although luckily he's not trying to use Mirror Coat. Ooh, fuck me. Fuck. My. Shit! Goodbye, Mr. Freeze. We love you. God damn it. Here goes our rock tunnel Pokemon. Alright, Squirrel. Get the fuck out there. God damn. I thought I I thought I could have juke that thing. It was not to be. And he's got a fucking Deoxys. Which is fine because it's relatively frail. Um, and I do have the quick attack. So, yeah. Taunt doesn't matter because I'm gonna fucking attack faster next turn. Yosh! But I still can't. God damn it, Mr. Freeze! Why? Ugh. Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! And he's got a Skarmory as his last Pokemon, which is gonna be a fucking bastard for basically everything that I have. But I'll send in, uh, Elvis because he's got the Rock Throw, which will at least be a neutral hit. My god. So I guess Webster is gonna come back on the team, um, in the next episode. So you guys can look forward to that, welcome him back, um, and we'll bury Mr. Freeze as well. God damn it. Super shit. I, I can hardly believe that, but, you know. Ah. I thought his attack was higher than his special attack. So, there's that. And it wasn't even a super effective hit. I fucking crunched the Why Not and it lived. But the fucking Blizzard killed it. I call hacks on that shit. The game just didn't want me to have something as awesome as Mr. Freeze. Too bad! I still got Elvis, bitch! <laughs> My fucking veterans, man. Hey, yeah, level that up. Oh, you bitch. I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer upon you the rainbow badge. I hate you. <laughs> the rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Yay, TM19, which is of course uh, Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Well, wouldn't you agree that's a wonderful move? Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Gonna go bury one of my favorite fucking team members ever. So friends, this has been a, a tragic loss in a way at the Celadon Gym, but we also kind of lived um, and got ourselves another badge, so there's there's the, the upside. We got the rainbow badge. Mmm, suck on that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, I hope you will like, comment, and do subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I sincerely hope to see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.